Well, hello there, and welcome to Seven Sons. My name is Blaine Hitzfield. I will be your personal tour guide throughout uh, this journey as we go behind the scenes of our farming operation. And uh, we want this to be a time for you to get to know us. And one of the first questions that we usually get asked is, is there really seven sons on our farm? Uh, and there is. And as we go throughout this tour, you'll have a chance to meet several of my other brothers. And we want this to be an interactive experience, a time for you to get to know us, and we want to get to know you. So below each video, there is a comment section. So we want you to, to feel free to introduce yourself, share what's on your mind, why, what has brought you to Seven Sons. And then throughout the videos, ask us your questions. We'll be standing by ready to answer those questions and interact uh, with you. So now the whole point of this video tour of our farm is that we want to provide you with uh, knowledge and insights on uh, what is happening on the farm level and how farming practices affect the nutrient value of your food. Now, when you walk into the grocery store, you are bombarded with literally thousands of labels, food labels, all claiming to be the best. And um, even the organic food labels, folks, you have to ask, how was the, the food produced? Because if you just rely upon those labels, those labels are designed to do one thing, one main objective. The companies that own those labels are the largest food companies in the world and they are trying to extract the most money uh, from the shoppers at the checkout line. That's their number one goal. It's not to provide you with the most nutrients for every dollar that you spend. So if you ask the question, what is the number one factor that determines the nutrient value of your food? Folks, it's not that paper thin label on the front of that food item. The number one fact that determines the health and, and nutrient value of your food, it's determined by the health and nutrient levels in the soil where your food was grown. So that's why it's the most important thing you can do when it comes to sh shopping for the best food, the most important thing you can do is to get to know the farmer who produces your food and to ask them how are they taking care of the soil where your food is being grown because Folks, what determines the nutrients available to the plants uh, that are grown in, in soils? It's determined by the health of the microbiology, the, the micro life in the soil. Believe it or not, on, a, on soils that are managed in a regenerative farming, uh, with regenerative farming practices, soils that are healthy will have two to 3,000 pounds of life forms in every acre of soil. Folks, that's a lot. Matter of fact, in a healthy soil, there's more life below our feet than there is above ground growing on top of the soil. And that's important because it's the life in the soil that releases the minerals and nutrients to the plant so that they're available in our food system. So without taking care of the life in the soil, we do not have nutrients available in the plant or in our food system. And so uh, that's why it's important to know that industrial farming practices and all the chemicals and fertilizers that have been sprayed on the soils not only is that toxic to the food itself but the the real story is that those toxins are killing the life in the soil and every year that more chemicals are applied more of that life is depleted in the soil and that's why folks our food today has far less nutrients and minerals available in the food than it did 50 years ago. You've probably heard it said that food has changed more in the last 50 years than it did in the last 5,000 years. And the, and the reason is because the life in the soil has been killed. Matter of fact, research has been done that shows that you would have to eat almost 20 apples today to reach the amount of nutrients that you could get from one apple just 50 years ago. That's how dramatic it's been. Um, consider this quote by a fellow by the name of Dr. Linnaeus Pauling. Dr. Linnaeus Pauling was a, a celebrated scientist, biochemist, uh, new scientist, uh, called him the top 20 greatest scientist of all time. And here's what he said about health and nutrition. Dr. Linnaeus Pauling said that you can trace every sickness and every disease and every ailment back to a trace mineral deficiency. And the folks, the reason we have mineral deficiencies in our food is because we have mineral deficiencies in the soil because the life in the soil has not been taken care of. And 
Uh, if you do your homework, this is not a new concept. This has been understood throughout history. Franklin Roosevelt once said that the nation that destroys its soils destroys itself. And even Thomas Jefferson said that civilization itself rests upon the soil. Uh, folks, this, again, this is not a new concept. So for the last 20 years on our farm here at Seven Sons, we have been on a mission to restore the life and to regenerate the life in the soil so that we can have healthy soils, healthy plants, healthy animals, and healthy food products for you. So as we go throughout this entire tour, that's what we're going to be talking about. We're going to be talking about how our farming practices and the, the different livestock we have on our farm all work together to build life in the soil so that we can have healthy soils, healthy food, and a healthy community. So let's go ahead and head out and take a look at the farm. 